Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go nine hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day out there. Safe day out there. Let's make it a great night. You're going to love Lloyd, man. It's a beautiful thing. Let's take a look at one of our four agreements. Love has no obligations or expectations. When you love, whatever you do is because you want to do it. It becomes a pleasure. It's like the game, and we have fun at it. When you love, you don't expect something to happen. Whatever happens is okay, and hardly anything disappoints you. Market wise, let's take a look at it. Another day, another dollar. Dow up 16, Nasdaq up 9, S&P's up 7. Gold contract down $33, trading out at 1,391 an ounce. Silver down 90 cents at $22.47 an ounce. Platinum off 13 at 1,488 an ounce. Copper up two pennies, trading out at 326 a pound. Light sweet crude flat at $94.34 a barrel. Bonds. Up five ticks at 144.07. King dollar up 217 ticks at 83.93. The euro down 41 at 128.79. And the yen is trading out at 102.29. Our phone number is 877 927 Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, we are at 1657. You did 695 million. If we go over to the SPY, the SPY, and we take a look at the SPY, the SPY is out here at 166. You did 112 million. Now, the Dow Industrials, what you have inside the Dow, Dow Industrials up 60 bucks. And inside the Dow out here today, so the strength inside the Dow is American Express, J.P. Morgan, Procter & Gamble, and Intel. Uh, taken away from it was Hewitt Packard. Um, oh, this is interesting. Uh, Chevron, which was was putting it into it yesterday, Alcoa and Caterpillar. NASDAQ Composite. Composite out here trading out at a price point of 34.71. That's at another high. We did 1.8 versus 1.8 billion. The NDX 100. The NDX 100 right now is trading at 3002, and that is right at its highs. Uh, inside the NDX 100, what you had putting strength into it today was Google. Um, Cognizant Technologies, Intuit, and Yahoo. Uh, taken out of it was Wrangle Resources, Apple, uh, REGN, and Alexa Pharmaceutical. 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of gold, let's go over there and take a look at it. What did gold do out here today, folks? Gold went after, is going after its actual low. Um, we are down 33 bucks. We did 215,000 contracts. You had expansion of volume once again as you got into the highs of the low. Okay, so what you have is this. You are at uh, 1391. The top of that bar was 1404.20. What that's saying is that saying you're going to go to the bottom of that bar. And bottom line is that uh, <laughs> you got to be careful. If this ever breaks it with volume, then that's a monster ABC structure on the way down. Uh, what we did have out here is that when you take a look at the Gold Bugs Index, it's problematic. The Gold Bugs Index took out its lows today, uh, HUI, and we, we, one second, HUI. So what you have is this, HUI is at uh, 256.60. We hit 256.17. Uh, the low out there was 256.20. Uh, bottom line is that I, it's not cool how uh, we've traded into that. Uh, now, that in correlation to the XAU, and if you want to see something here, it's kind of interesting. Well, it is really interesting. Now, the XAU hasn't taken out its, its lows yet. I expect what you're going to end up seeing, and, you know, yes, the 13F filings are out here today, and we're going to be able to get them. Um, Paulson did not sell any of his GLD or his AU. Uh, I didn't check the rest of them yet, but I started checking them. Uh, and that's a problem for the market, folks. That, that's, that's, the, that's the bottom line. Um, so the... The gold market right now, uh, what you do have versus the XAU versus the HUI is this. Well, if you go back to the first gold market in 1980, it was Barrick Gold that basically starts selling forward into the marketplace. And when I'm looking at the HUI weaker than the XAU, um, it's real possible that that's what's going to be the next thing to unload in this market, folks. And, you know, uh, what ended up happening is that on, on gold on the way up, 
Uh, Newmont actually lost $5.4 billion because they didn't cover their shot position in gold until $1,570, I believe, okay, fifteen thirty or something, okay? Bottom line, um, you know, the barracks of the world, yeah, I, I can pitch them, start selling into the market, uh, you know, once again. Uh, Cisco, CSCO, Cisco just came out with numbers. Uh, Cisco closed at uh, $21.21, trading up a dollar right now. Uh, numbers on Cisco go like this. The estimate was 49 cents. They made 51. Their margin is, uh, uh, the estimate was 61. They're making 63. That's a huge gross margin. Pretty amazing. Let's go to Scott in Orlando. Hey, Scott, what's going on? How you doing today, Tom? I'm, do I'm doing great, man. You having a good day out there? Oh, beautiful day. Always a good day. Cool, man. Uh, why don't you take a look at Whole Foods and tell me what you think? Absolutely. Okay, so WFM. Whole paychecks, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so we get that. You know, you know what's amazing, folks? Now, in the grocery business, Whole Foods has a 30% margin, which is unbelievable. That's, you know, when I saw that margin come across in their last uh, earnings, I thought I was seeing things, man. I mean, because my understanding in the food business is that they were working on a lot of small margins, like 6 or 7%. But anyway, Whole Foods, the low for the year is 79. The high is 103. They pay a 0.77 dividend. Okay, so what are you looking to do here? Um, I know that it's high right now, but I'm thinking about taking a small position. I know that they're going to be splitting two for one in the next few weeks. Okay. Uh, you know, I wouldn't take a, any position with a gap that's this open. You have a gap that's open from $90 up to 100 That's a 10% gap, and that gap will get filled. That was my thinking also. Okay. Yeah, it would get filled. It, it you know, probably would take six months, but it would get filled. The pro this is what the problem is with if you, if you took, you know, a position with a gap that's that wide open, is that the only way that gaps basically don't get filled, folks, is that if someone else takes Whole Foods out. You know, and that's possible, you know. Uh, but, you know, let's see. You know, there, there, are the, there, are, there are definitely other grocery chains that could take them out. They've got a market cap right now of... Uh, Oh, where am I? Let's see. So, nineteen billion. You know, um, you know, but the the risk is way too high. Gotcha. Yeah. Appreciate your opinion, Tom. Okay, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Let's go take a look at some of the large caps out here. Now, it, what's really intriguing is that Big Blue still couldn't get any traction behind it. IBM. IBM was up eleven cents today at two oh three. Uh, Exxon Mobil was up thirteen. Citigroup was up a buck twenty five. You had the three M up ninety one cents. Oxy was down 10. Um, if we go over and we take a look at uh, Procter & Gamble. So PG um, actually put some juice into the Dow Industrials today. But you know what? It's not, it's not enough to basically... Uh, PG is still in a counter-trend bounce. You, Procter & Gamble came off those highs with uh, 25 million, did 11 million on the way up today. Um, it, it's up for far enough that there's no doubt, yes, it can test the high again. But that downdraft that was created out there, that downdraft's going to get uh, retested. We go take a look at the GE. GE's the same deal. I mean, they're pushing this thing and they're pushing it in a big way. There's, excuse me, there's no doubt about it. Um, ADM. So let's take a look at. Uh, you got uh, ADM, which is uh, Archer Daniels Mendel, and that closed at 34.71. And well, it's, it's trading 34.71. So I, I, some was saying it was down, but this is not down. Uh, ADM is actually pushing a swing high, and that's actually pushing that uh, high. Uh, with volume right now. We're going to take a look at the dollar index. So what the dollar index has done is this, folks, okay? Um, dollar index got over at B point, did it with conviction. We are at uh, 83.51 now. And what you're going to see is you're going to see the uh, dollar index go after 88, folks. And, you know, I understand the, there's no doubt since January, the S&Ps have not paid attention to the dollar going higher, meaning the correlation was... Dollar higher, S&P lower. Well, from January, that correlation has not been in sync. Um, you know, we'll see what happens when the dollar is screaming up here at uh, 80, 89. Because uh, what, you, what you have is that you have the wide price spread, you have the conviction, you get everything behind it. If we go over to Apple, now Apple's going to be, a, Apple's a problem, big problem. Uh, so Apple come down at 25 million shares today. You're going into the swing point. We are at 428. That swing point on Apple is at 385, and if Apple comes into that swing point like it's trading today, um, that'll be a monster ABC down. Uh, because the 8 point on this is where the gap is at 514, the B is uh, 385.
Yeah, so you get 130 bucks, and 130 comes off the uh, 460, so you ballpark in, uh, what's that, 300? No, 330. This is Tom O'Brien, this is TFNN. You stay right there, folks. We're coming right back.